watching the Big Dog Post Game Show, brought to you by Viner Forgates and the Big Dog himself, Rick Jacklich at the Jacklich Law Group. Good evening from Xfinity Center, where Maryland almost gets it done. They fall to Marquette, 78, 74, the 15th ranked Marquette comes in here. They play fast and look like an ACC game to me. I'm Wayne. That's Bruce. That's James Guest. This is a Big Dog Post Game Show. Bruce, what did you see out there? I saw an unbelievable performance by Gary Queen. He did it all. 24 points. Uh, and number zero to Kobe Gillespie, 24 points. But Mr. Giz pointed it out to me that the ball, once they started going into the centers, everything got better. And it was just, they, they never, they had a lead, they never would have been, were able to stretch it. And uh, I'd like to hear James' final comments on it. But it was free throws that took us down, James. Free throws definitely took us down. Um, you know, it was a tough game to watch, you know, because it was a lot of energy. We had a great fan base out here tonight at Xfinity Center, and uh, we were looking to get a good win. Our cat played a very good, you know, organized game. You saw why they were right to the top 25. They had an idea and the goal in their offense of what they wanted to do. Maryland, it seemed like we just struggled, you know, to get the ball inside, you know, to get clean shots. We didn't have a lot of assists. The ball didn't move a lot tonight. We were able to force some turnovers, but we didn't capitalize on a lot of them, and so that kind of hurt us in the ending. That hurt us in the ending. So in the second half, Maryland changes their outlook. They start pumping into the post, things get better offensively, and then about 10 minutes to go, Suju comes out, Maryland goes basically four guards, and Derek Queen, and that works. Why did that work better tonight? Um, for me, I believe that the advantage was in the paint and you got to use that. Going four guards and one big, it's not a bad idea, but we weren't really creating shots and we weren't moving the ball. And going with the inside post presence, you force the defense to close. And now you got shooters like Gillespie, you got shooters like Grace that can really knock these shots down when they help on Quinn and when they help on Jules Reese. You got those open shots from the corner from the 45, but we didn't see that tonight. And it really kind of hurt us. The game became really stagnant, it felt like it. It felt like it was really stagnant. Yeah, you know, in the end, he had Jack. He played great. He played great. I knew he missed the foul cut. I feared it, but he got to the line. I said to Mason, I said he hasn't been in that position before. And the first one went in and out. And he knew trouble was on the way. But they never quit. They never gave up. And listen. We'll catch a great team up the road. With a great coach, with great coaching, with great people, and number one, he's in another world. I mean, he's unbelievable. Cam Jones, is that his name? He is unbelievable. He's next level, all right? And he proved it tonight. He was special. Reminded you of John Moran a little bit. The way he went in and went out, went in and went out. But he was great. I don't know what else to say. What else to say? It was almost a miracle finish for Maryland. Here's a word from the big dog himself and in the new ad for Viner Forgates as they change to Viner X. We'll be back with Mason here at Maryland in a moment. So Terp fans, if your family's injured in a car crash, you'd be barking mad not to call Rick and the Big Dogs at the Jacklich Law Group at 855-BIG-DOG-1. But as you know, Coach, it's not the last win, it's the next win that's so important. And that's why we continue to hustle, continue to work so hard for all of our clients to earn that name, the Big Dogs in the small firm. Just like you do. You get your guys hustling all the time. That's why we love you, Rick. And most of all, Go, go Terps! Terps. And it's a heavy night, it's a sad night. But coach, I think that there's a great way that we can remember John Brown. The next time Maryland has a, a big win, maybe it's tonight, it'll be tough. This is a real good team in town. But whenever that night comes, I think we know what to do, don't we? Let's go to Ben Leaves.
Viner X is the new face of Viner 4Gates. Tech support fuels your business growth. Making your company work is our number one priority. Viner X is here to make your company work. Call us at 877-797-8776 or send us an email, servicedesk at vinerx.com. Two, three points, and a referee and makes a call. Like you got to give it to human nature. We're allowed to make mistakes, but at the same time, those calls definitely dictated momentum, and it kind of hurt when we needed them to work. For us. But I think we started just two minutes too late. If we bring that same energy a little bit earlier, we're not looking at this conversation right now. We're having a completely different conversation. Okay, so what would be the great Bobo venture and Gary Williams tell you when you saw Derek Queen take that ball away? It's just one of those things where, you know, that's the way the cookie crumbled in this situation. You're in the right place, right time. The call ain't go in our favor, but again, I think we just started too late to turn up as a team. You know, the last two, three minutes of the game, you need that energy from the start. The start of the game is a totally different game, you know. We don't, we, you don't want to depend on the referees to make the call to help you win the game. You want to win the game decisively. In Maryland, we have a good team tonight. We played good basketball, but we could have played a lot better to secure this win. I think the key kind of goes is what happens next for you now, especially for DHS. We saw him get to the rim. He hits that three at the end. He was effective on those plays where he's driving the baseline. He's switching the person to the floor. He can make things happen for this offense. And going forward, you have to be able to take the positives from a game like this, take the proposition from a game like this, and move on here pretty quickly with some bigger names, with some of those power four opponents, or power five still in college basketball opponents on the schedule, you can't let this get to you. You have to find a way to dictate the system, look at what worked, and a lot of those opportunities were here constantly throughout the game. You have to find a way to point out those moments and have better awareness of the basketball game with this group that's on the floor. All right, so I got one last one as we go to wrap this up and get ready for what for football tomorrow. Jacoby Gillespie had a great game on the scoreboard. From watching the game and working with a point guard, I mean, I think you want your point guard to be a 
a dictator of the offense. And also you have a guy that can make a shot when you really need it. But when you have like screen and dive plays and you have a big man with the talent that Merrill, Merrill has two of, and you're, you're lacking getting the ball to the post at all, which is where you're clearly stronger than your opponent, as a point guard, you really like to see him distribute the ball, and that's going to give him more open looks from the outside. I 100% agree with you. You know, you're right about that. Maryland strength, their presence is in the paint, man. It's in the paint, and you see these... These situations, Gillespie played really well tonight. Rice has been playing really well since the season has started, you know, and the shooting the ball. Now you got to understand how you build the economy of the game. These shots aren't going to be here the entire part of the game, and you have to understand what's going to get those shots for you later in the game. And part of that is building your offense from inside out. You build your offense, you close the defense, people help, and now your shooters get shots. And when you have the presence that Reese and Queen bring, there's no way that, you know, Reese is only getting two, three shots a game. You know, even DHS, we talked about him a little bit. He's only getting two, three shots a game. Like, these guys are big, they're athletic, they can create a lot of problems for a lot of teams. Just got to figure out a way to get them more involved. Got to figure out a way to get them more involved. And that will wrap it up tonight. Maryland loses by four. It was a great atmosphere. Had a lot of fun. We do it again. We got Ohio State coming in in a few weeks. And then you got that build over the Syracuse game. So it, it's a bright start to the season. We will see you after Rutgers, Maryland tomorrow. That game kicks off at 6 o'clock. The football season is on the line. It's our Big Ten playoff game. Got to win that one. I'm Wayne, Ed Space, and James Giz. Bruce is just a minute to my left. Thanks for watching the Big Dog Post Game Show. And good evening from College Park.